so I need more for that was composer. So it's a piano. This piano is so dusty, I dare say it hasn't been played in years. I wonder if it still works. Something is preventing one of the keys from depressing. There was a key hidden under the key. A small key. It looks like the lyrics to a soap so song entitled The Last Song For You. The verses are scrawled so poorly as to make them illegible. Okay. No. <laughs> Alright. Well, what's this here? Bird cage. Whoa, fucking huge. This case must have housed a huge bird. Only a feather remains. A feather? I can't reach the feather from here. Oh, we need something to reach that feather. If I blow through the paper wall, maybe I could manage to make the feather fly. Oh, just worked. Take it. <laughs> I got it, it's a big black feather with some grey spots on the base. I just thought you would use the paper score to reach the feather and push it, but you can blow through, you yeah? know? This for the wardrobe? There's an elegant scarlet party dress inside. Take it. Nothing else. Okay, there's nothing else. So, before we can make his inspiration, inspiration, the angel complete. We must have to repair the mask. Here's a tree stump. The raisin is thick and sticky liquid. I can't just pick it up with my hands. And put the mask? No. The feather, yeah. I managed to coat the feather with the raisin. No repair. I have stuck the piece together with the raisin. This face. It reminds me of a girl from one of the paintings. Now we have everything for the inspiration. a strange one here. Strange laughter. Yeah, now you got a face. Yes, just right. It looks more and more like a young woman in the painting. And the dress? Daphne, you're back! Are you a figment of my melancholic mind? Are you the ghost of my dying music? No, it doesn't matter because you are with me again and I know, know how, and I now know exactly how to compose my masterpiece. Please take my violin. Now that I have completed my work, I no longer have a use for it. It needs to be with her. Go to the mausoleum and place the violin where her heart lies. The angel of my music will guide you. Here, take the key to the mausoleum, my friend. I must go. Let music and singing surround you, my man. Look for the Zimurk. Okay, now we have a key and a violin. A tailor's mannequin. Beside the window. What is the Zimurk? Is it what crows are searching for? It is what you search for too. What the fuck? If we're, am I the only one in this town who knows nothing? I'll play a game with me. So we can now enter the mausoleum. 
Let's go. Now, can you look, look to the window? From here, it seems as if Dustin herself was standing by the side of the window. Here lies an angel. Great pity must be felt for those who did not hear her. Pity for those not blessed by her naive grace, not shaken by her heavenly voice, trembling their souls into divine ascendance. Here lies Daphne. God rest her soul. Okay. The sarcophagus is broken? Where on earth is the coven? Who could have done this? Okay. No. I, I was asked to leave the wiring close to Daphne's heart, but she isn't here anymore. Mm, well, that's the point. Is this there's a hole? A trail of soil leads from the sarcophagus to this hole. Was the coven transported to here? Well, only one way to find it out. Oh no, we're in another part of the city. I can't see anything through these dirty window panes. Okay. It's locked. dead. Oh. Maybe I can see something if I look into the keyhole? Yeah. Darkness there, nothing more. Whoa! What the fuck is behind this door? With the help of River, the naive Daphne hid from the sun in the shadowy mists. She changed her skin for strong bark so her heart was forever concealed. Her dance frozen in the rustle of a thousand leaves. Okay. Books with unpronounceable names in dead languages. A lot of dusty books, anatomy, history, science, from everything. It's like a bookstore, a library. Myths and legends this time, Norse tales, Greek, ancient, Sumerian, others that I don't recognize, some of these scripts I've never seen. Uh, a painting of an old factory, I guess someone was really attached to the place. I beg your pardon, sir, if I have startled you. What are you doing here, sitting in the dark? Why, I am reading these marvelous books. In the dark? But how can you see the words without any light? That is the only way to see them, really. That is, if you want to see the words on the other side of the page, the words from the shadows. Shadow always hides from the light, you know. So they can only be read in darkness. Are you the owner of this bookshop? Oh, God, no. The bookshop doesn't belong to anyone. Not since I found it here. I'm just a guest, an explorer of these ancient tomes. Have you seen a man pass this way? He is red hair, tall and wears a cape. Oh yes, I know of whom you speak. I see him here from time to time, perusing the books. He would pick one off the shelf, glance at it and then put it back. He and I never spoke to. 
Why do you ask? I see him sometimes, but he slips away whenever I try to meet him. I feel as if he is guiding me towards something. That may be so, we each have our own white rabbit to lead us to lost places. Can you tell me which books this man perused? Let me think. Ah yes, I recall his looking at unexplored places of the Empire. An excellent tome, very revealing and very rare. This bookshop is very fortunate to have a copy in its collection. I'm not sure what it is now, but I'm sure it can't be far. Pardon the interruption, sir. I will leave you to your reading. Reading in the dark. It's not really reading. This, uh, I'm the only noble person in this town or what? Large collection of books. Where's the singing coming from? on the floor its spine read unexplored places of the empire a page has been marked the place of the eternal fog also known as Shaila it is a unique bay in the east of Baleshwa near the jungles of Bengala it is surrounded by tall snow-capped mountains usually covered in mist the waters of the bay are very dangerous and rarely visited okay and this gives me nothing of a hint. Oh, there's a way down. It's not this a tree again, the remains of a coffin. It looks like it was bursted from the inside. It's a massive dead tree. How could it have formed here inside this building and would end without sunlight? I see something cocked in the branches. It appears to be a page torn from the book below. The window is shrouded with a thick layer of dust. Not even a glimmer of light shines through. Okay. What's this? On the ground lies a book entitled The Songs of Chai La. The page to which it was open has been torn out, but the remaining fragment identifies a song titled The Search for Zimurg. Okay. Yeah, there's a page there and cocked in the branches. Got no way to reach it. Maybe with the wire line? No. Not really. But can I, can I set them on fire? No. No fire! <laughs> A surprisingly lush vegetation covers the place. I don't recognize the species these plants belong to. Is this here a cellar underground garden? A cracked wall, a long green vine has grown through it. Oh, I'm just in the sewers. On the right, I can hear this, the song. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is like a labyrinth. There's a note partly obscured by mud. Ah, I know this place. 
This door is now open. Yeah. That's where the great tree with the crack was. The dead roots of Ron's great tree. It's a crack, great crack not long its ledge. Yeah, this there is some secret to enter this place. But I don't know how. With the help of River, the night Daphne hid from the sun in the shadowy mist. She changed his skin for a strong bark, so her heart was forever concealed. Her dance frozen in the rustle of a thousand leaves. Yeah. So, uh, she changed her skin for a strong bark, then uh, she is the tree. She is the tree. That's why we can hear her singing. And the composer said I should place the violin besides her heart. Into the crack. It's okay. That's the thing I can do. Yeah. Singing is coming from the tree. That's why. That must be it. The violin has disappeared among the roots as if swallowed up. The trunk seems seem to be expanding. That noise came from above. The crack closes after I place the violin inside, as if swallowing the instrument. Incredibly, the roots seem to move, as if growing before my very eyes. So something above. Something happened above. No, don't need that note. Cracked wall. Long green vine has grown through it. No, that's that doesn't change. Whoa! The tree has grown. Some of the branches have crashed through the window and into the street. The remains of a coffin. On the ground lies the book, Songs of Chai La. The page which was open. Okay. The window has been broken by the tree's branches in its sudden growth. Intense rays of light stream into the bookshop. It looks as if the tree has come alive. The branches have grown quickly. They have broken the window and sprouted outside. The chi captured in the branches is gone now too. And from where is that strong light coming? The sheet of paper is now outside. Yeah, I have to find that paper. Now I can have it. Still sitting there. Yeah. Got nothing to say. <laughs> Reading the book in total darkness. Like, I'm really the only sane person here. Oh. So. The window. Where's that window?
No, not here. I have to find the window again. Hmm. Where's the sheet of paper? Ah, here. The paper sheet captured in the branches is now within my reach. Ah, it's lying on the ground. It's a strange poem. First into the wind they sought for the king. But lost were the birds, they wept in suffering, and flew to the sea, compelled by a need. They found their silence, their quest was complete. So we have wind, birds, sea and silence. The wind blew the birds away over the sea. And then there was silence. Ah, there's he again. So I can. A strange viscosity as if subtly pulsing. That tree is alive. Yeah, I got that with me. This must be some some kind of direction. Hey. Yeah, just moving away into the mists. I can hear birds. Oh. I got lost in the fog. If I am to make my way through, I will need to orient myself somehow. I know it. It's this one. We need first... First follow the wind. This here is wind. And now the birds. Where are the birds? No, 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 they're to my left. This is wind. Where are the birds now again? This year, the birds. And now the wind blew the birds over the sea. What, what's this year? Ah, uh, now I can hear it. The sea. Now I need silence. The last thing. This is utter silence, huh? Where, where, where's the way? And now I move in silence. This strange poem is like a guide making it through this fog. <gasps> Where did you vanish again? That strange red haired man.
Your ticket, please. My ticket. All right. Thank you. Please come in. Uh, well. Strange theater. Hello, Jeremiah. I knew you would find us eventually. Welcome to our humble performance. You were there. You were part of the group. You don't remember my name, do you? I am Alexander. What is all this about? What do you want from me? From you? Nothing, dear Jeremiah. It is you who came here searching for answers. It is the same as when you joined our crew. We each came with our own reasons. Do you remember yours? Uh, Jeremiah. He's a man of the words, philosophy, true philosophy. Indeed, it was our thirst for knowledge that drew us together. No one waits for us out there, dear Jeremiah. There is no one who will care for us when our hour comes. We had been alone until now. How did I end up in London after being buried in the boarding school? The bird protects us. It is by his design that we should meet again, but we are not the only ones who take shelter beneath his wing. His influence and power is ever expanding, ever reaching. Do you not feel him beckoning? I only want to wake from this nightmare. This is no nightmare. It is a show, a performance. The truth we seek lies behind the curtain. Now we have crossed the point of no return, the lights are on, the stage is set, and soon you shall meet the actors. Welcome. <laughs> this belongs to you. I got a mask. Like every single one of them. Okay. Dearest Herr Dr. Wakefield, if you are reading this then you have to fol then you have followed my instructions to arrive at a agreed upon address. Good. I apologize that I could not accompany you immediately. My own investigations have demanded a certain unanticipated degree of attention. I have determined that your patient, David, is in serious trouble. I will contact you with more information post haste. In the meantime, discretion is the utmost importance. Your friend, Johann Kaufmann. The adventure continues in chapter 4. Yeah, see ya. <laughs>